Our first guest is a uh, very funny and a talented woman who wrote the uh, screenplay for the film Mean Girls, which, by the way, is the number one film in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Tina Fey. Uh, congratulations. This is very exciting for you. Uh, this is your first uh, film that you've written, right? Yes, yeah. And the first film that you've uh, starred in? Been yeah, in yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, um, it's, uh, we were so surprised and so happy with how mm -hmm. well it did, because you forget, like, you... You kind of forget there's even the movie's ever actually going to come out because right. you do all this like nonsense stuff for the weeks leading up to it. Mm -hmm. Like we did these um, press junkets, which I never did before, which is you go and you sit in a chair and like 70 people come in and ask you the same question over yeah. and over again. And the, we did a, one day was an international press junket, which is they're supposedly um, international journalists, but I think it's a prank. <laughs> they're all just foreign weirdos. Like we went into this big room to do a press conference with them, and there was like one old lady was sleeping in the back on across some chairs, and, and the Spanish lady got up and she was like, um, "I saw your film two nights ago, and uh, no one was laughing." <laughs> <laughs> but I see the other film with the twins, with the blonde, with the awesome, yeah. This one, the adolescents, they are laughing. <laughs> it's terrible news. Well, I enjoyed the film, and uh, it, it, oh, people do laugh at the film, obviously. It's the number one film in the country. And, and I liked it because it's a, it's a, a young person's film. It's a, like a high school film, mm -hmm. but it's also very, very funny. And, and you can tell that some care has gone into the execution of the movie. Well, thank you. And uh, many funny moments about it. Tell me about the, uh, uh, the source material from which the screenplay comes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually based on this book called Queen Bees and Wannabes, which is a serious nonfiction book about how to help your daughter through the terrifying middle school and high school years. More terrifying now than ever, I would More guess. More than ever. Yeah. Because everyone wears little tiny pants and little tiny halter tops, <laughs> yeah. and they spread rumors about you, and it's scary. And, and you believe, or the, the book suggests, that maybe girls are actually meaner uh, in, in this age period than, For than sure. boys? Yeah, really? girls are way meaner than yeah. boys, and sneaky, mm -hmm. just awful. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky that you have a boy. Yeah. Oh, my, yeah, and, and, and I see this movie. Uh, honest to God, I thought, I don't want to send him to school because people are going to make fun of him. <laughs> I was watching the movie just terrified. I said, well, I can't. I'll just homeschool him. <laughs> no, because he'll come out weird. They yeah. always come out weird. <laughs> well, well, look at me. <laughs> but... Uh, your family and friends probably just over the moon with a Oh, my God, they're so excited. My family in Pennsylvania, they all went to the theater on Friday night with all my cousins and my aunts and uncles, and my high school principal was two rows in front of them, and then they all uh, went back to my cousin's house, and my, <laughs> my cousin had a big uh, sheet cake made with my picture on it. <laughs> so that's classy. And, yeah. and I was thinking, it, it sort of raises the ethical question of, you know, would you eat your own face if it was made of cake? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would. You would, huh? Like, ah. <laughs> uh, and as you're, um, and now you've been on television for a long time, mm -hmm. so you know, you know what that's like. You know all about performing, and you've studied acting, I'm guessing. But now you're in uh, not only a movie, it's a, a principal role. You don't play the principal, you play a teacher. But, uh, and it's your material. What, what was that experience yeah. like? Well, I had never acted in a movie before. I had, I had done plays and stuff before. And um, you do the same scene over and over and over mm -hmm. again. And I would, by the fourth or fifth time around, I'd be like acting thinking I was acting so good, and, mm -hmm. and then I would realize there weren't any cameras on me anymore. That we were, like, <laughs> shooting somebody else's close-up, and I was over here, like, selling it so hard. <laughs> and also, everyone in movies talks really quiet. Is that right? And they just talk like this, and I would come in and be like, hey, everybody! And like, oh, God. <laughs> I was from the theater! <laughs> and if you watch the movie, you can sometimes see... Uh, I watch myself, and I see that I walk in, and then I <laughs> look down from my mark. And then I, like, move over to it. <laughs> you actually can notice that as oh, you watch the film. Oh, I'm a terrible actor. <laughs> I thought you played the part of the high school teacher very nicely. Oh, well, thank you. you did a very nice job. And the cast was very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a little bit about the people you worked with. Well, uh, we have, in the adult roles, we have some of our SNL friends. Tim Meadows right. plays principal. He's really, really funny. And Amy Poehler plays a sort of a mom who um, is trying to be too much like a peer yes. to she, her she, yeah, she's kid. She's a cool mom. She's a cool mom. Yeah. She lets kids drink in the house. And stuff. <laughs> 
even they don't want to drink. She's like, oh, I'll drink. Um, <laughs> she, she was very creepy, wasn't she? She was a creep, yeah, yeah that character. Yes. And, um, and Anna Gasteyer plays the other, like, hippie mom. And then the young actors are great. Lindsay Lohan, who I think, you know. Oh, she's here. lovely, lovely. Beautiful yeah, girl. Yeah. Like, Anne Margaret, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And Rachel McAdams. And they're just, they're all these really great actors. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Lindsay has been on uh, Saturday Night Live. Is that right? Yeah, Lindsay hosted our show last week. And what was, what was that experience like for her and for you guys? It was great. She was great. She's, a lot of these people who started as performers really young, they're great hosts mm -hmm. for us because they're just fearless and they go, okay, I'll do it. And I was sort of, Lindsay's only 17 and so right. I was on like perv patrol all week <laughs> with the, the comedy writers. I was just kind of walking be like, 17, this is 17. <laughs> Take it down a notch. Yeah. Yeah, she's really pretty. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the uh, uh, clip of the movie. It doesn't need this because it's already the number one film in, in the country. But let, you, do you know what the scene is we're going to see? I think this is uh, the first day of school. Uh, Lindsay's a new student. It's her first day, and, and I'm a teacher, and everything's kind of going wrong. Now, now I in the early scene when uh, Tim Meadows comes in and, and he's explaining that he's got carpal tunnel syndrome oh, yeah. has come back. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, and his hand is all bandaged up. Now, is, is that... What really happened to Tim his hand? Tim broke his hand three days uh, before we see, started see, shooting. See, I knew something was hinky. And he <laughs> broke it in the dumbest way. He was moving his motorcycle from his front yard to his backyard, <laughs> and he clipped his hand on his mailbox. What was he going, 90? He might have been walking it, for all I know. <laughs> God. So we had to figure out what to do. You know, I it. thought about it because the joke at the time, I thought, that's a pretty funny joke. His carpal tunnel syndrome came back over the summer. And then the more I watched it, I said to myself, nah, there's something. He's got a What's real injury the there. <laughs> uh, okay, so here it is, Mean Girls. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that part. That's also very nice. That's added minus. Uh, well, congratulations. It's a uh, wonderful career to, I guess, a uh, wonderful beginning to what I guess will be the second uh, part of your career now, oh, more than likely. Hope, huh? so. hope yeah. so. Onward and upward. Uh, mean Girls in Theaters. It's the number one film in the country. Tina, nice job. Good Thank to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having Tina me. Tina Fey, everybody. We'll